There she is, right on top of the cliff. <laughs> What's up guys, Eric, I got the uh, V4 crate now. Today I'm gonna give her a quick little run. We've had a ton of rain all week and it's just nice today. So it's kind of kind of soggy out, but I just, just got to get a quick bash in. I've got some uh, new M2C parts I want to be testing out. Uh, first off, uh, you know, I'm running the, uh, uh, the uh, new version standoffs on here, M2C standoffs uh, with the 4M set screw and lock nut to really lock it down. And also the new uh, Ackerman plate that uh, uh, Mitch has created. Uh, this thing looks totally sweet. Um, it's um, I'm not sure if I if you can get it in the uh, in view there, but it does have. Uh, he did thicken it up in the center right here to, to really strengthen it from from bowing. Uh, a lot of the stock plates, you know, you know, over time and uh, enough hits and, and jumps and stuff, they'll start to bow like a banana, and you won't even know they're bent, you know, until you take it off, and that'll uh, definitely affect your handling and steering. So uh, he's uh, created this uh, to where it'll it really stiffens it in the middle, and uh, it should definitely hold up. You know, again, it's, it's M2C, so it's it's gonna be top quality. Okay, I do have a new body on this thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just uh, kind of reinforced it a little bit because I mean, really, it doesn't matter how much you reinforce these things; they only last so long, especially when you when you uh, bash hard with them. So I, I did put in some leg sand, some extra strips of leg sand under here where the body holes are, uh, and then re-drilled through it, and then uh, just covered the whole thing with some 3M um, tape, and then I put a piece of foam up here to rest on the tower for a little bit of support. So, all right, guys, let's give it a run, see what's up. <laughs> that mulch pile is really soft. Can't, it's hard to get a good launch. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> Oh, that was rough. <laughs> oh. Oh man, right on that asphalt again. Woo. Not a very good place to land. <laughs> She's almost getting to the top. There she goes. <laughs> now where is it? That is the question. Oh, she came down. There she goes. And there she is. Perfect. Uh-oh, I think she's upside down on top of the mountain. <laughs> 
Now I gotta go hiking. Whew. There she is, right on top of the cliff. <laughs> this is a lot higher up than it seems. <laughs> that was kind of a caser. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Sounds like I got a diff getting ready to go. Oh. <laughs> now on the other side. Oh yeah, there she is. All right, guys, I'm out here beside this uh, store again on this uh, on this big hill. I'm gonna try to do another mega launcher like I did with Italian. Uh, this gives it some uh, some mega vertical. So uh, we'll see how she does. I did put the guitars on it and I uh, geared up to a 22 pinion. Um, I was running an 18 earlier with the uh, copperhead twos. All right, let's see what's up. Whoo! <laughs> Got me a little nervous at the end. She started kind of leaning to the side. That's got a pretty wicked echo on the side of that store. <laughs> that looks like it popped my steering link off. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and call it. Again, the Creighton's a complete beast. Love it. First time I've uh, ran on guitars, I believe. Um, again, this huge shout out to Mitch from M2C. Um, I'm just uh, blown away by his uh, ingenuity and uh, awesome upgrades. The Eckerman bar still looks straight from what I can see in there. It definitely took a little pounding today. And uh, these uh, jumps just now were, were pretty hard on too, I'm sure. Um, and big shout out to Arma for uh, the, all these awesome trucks. And um, and a uh, big thanks to all you guys and all my subscribers. All right, guys, until next time, RCD Day 1. Peace out.